I read a New York Times piece on a hundred-year-old survivor of the Tulsa massacre. And my question was this, what's the Tulsa massacre? You know, I, 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 uh, as a, I was taught American history every three years growing up, fifth grade, eighth grade, uh, what comes after, 11th grade, and then I studied in junior college, and I've read it ever since for pleasure. How is it that it wasn't until two years ago that I heard about the Tulsa massacre? How is that possible? I've heard about Custer's uh, uh, Little Bighorn. I heard about the Alamo. Uh, you know, I heard about the Triangle Shirtwaist fire. You know, I heard about all kinds of disasters in which people died. But I had never heard about this thing that happened in 1921, only three years before my dad was born. In the same year that Donna Reed was born, we didn't hear about this thing that happened in which essentially one of the most successful black communities in America, Black Wall Street, in which everybody was not only burned out of their homes and their businesses, but then driven out of the city limits by an angry mob of, I'm sorry, white people. How is it that this was not taught to me? Because I tell you, at the age of 10, when I was in fifth grade, living in Oakland, California, that would have been a moment of enlightenment for me that would have told me something very, very different about the city I lived in, not just American history or the city of Tulsa. And it made me mad. It made me mad that somebody had somehow made an editorial process of what was appropriate for us to learn about our own American history. It made me angry that, I, that it took until I was, what, I'm, I'm 60, I'll be 66, uh, just just about two weeks after Juneteenth, I'll turn 66. And uh, it, took, it took me 64, it took me 54 years in order to find this out. It's not right. It's not right and it's doing a disservice to all of America in order to not point out some very, very simple, and I meant, dare I say it, facts that can be accepted. I don't want to overuse the word dispassionately, but it can be used dispassionately. That's what happened. Nobody alive today is guilty over of it. Nobody alive today is to blame for it, except perhaps the people who said, let's not talk about that. That's not right. We should be able to talk about all of these aspects so they will teach us more of the fabulous story of our diverse history and understand where we all come from. I knew more about my Portuguese heritage than I did about being black and living in Tulsa in 1921. That's not right. It's not, it, it's, it's not what an education should be, and it's not what the grand, I think, lesson of even something as basic as our Pledge of Allegiance should be when we're going to dare to say the words with liberty and justice for all. We didn't have a moment. That was not liberty and justice for all, and that's not right, and it made me mad.